That sounds better. Sweet Thompson Creek. Seven is on storm watch for you today as we continue now to follow the deadly flooding in Louisiana. It has already claimed at least six lives. So far, historic flooding has forced authorities to rescue some 20,000 people. As Elizabeth Her reports, President Obama has now issued a disaster declaration for this region. With helicopters in the air and high water vehicles on the ground, rescuers are working around the clock and residents escaping with just a bag or a box in hand. Since Saturday, tens of thousands have been pulled to safety, including this woman and her dog rescued just in time. Shelters now home for so many with Louisiana in a state of emergency. It was pretty scary because we didn't know how high the waters were going to rise or how fast they were going to rise. It's like my subdivision was in a bowl. Everything around us was flooding. In some areas, two feet of rain fell in less than two days. The governor calling this historic. This is an unprecedented historic flood event all across South Louisiana. Uh, and it has presented tremendous challenges to everyone. With entire neighborhoods still underwater, some residents are just grateful to be alive and vow to rebuild again. Well, I'm going to go from here, just like I did from Katrina, start all over again. And authorities remain on high alert with water still rising. They say the situation is very dangerous, but they're prepared and ask residents to stay patient. In New York, I'm Elizabeth Herr for ABC 7 News. They always seem to take it on the chin down in Louisiana. And oh, there's yeah. some, if you see a topographic map, they live in a bowl sometimes when it fills it up. It's mm -hmm. more like New Orleans. Yeah, yeah it's terrible. Yeah. They don't have the terrain or elevation to help them out at all. It's no. And good. so we have warnings out there right now. We have a couple, two separate warnings now, and there are more storms developing. I mean, it's no surprise with the heat, humidity, and everything else, the instability growing in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So we'll get you an update on that. Let's uh, start right now with a look at uh, time lapse this from the. Uh, National uh, Institute of, uh, I was going to say standards and technology. No, it's science. not. It's science and technology now. <laughs> See, that's why, that's why I hesitated. It used to be standards. Now it's uh, science. In any case, great vantage point from uh, weather watching out there. Take a look at the past few hours as the uh, clouds have really, really darkened. And as we get up to present time, uh, you could see a severe thunderstorm getting closer and closer on the horizon. So you see that moving in. It's just a matter of time. Off the distance, that is heavy rain falling already. Now here's what we have in kind of our medium range view. You see all this clustering of yellow and red north and west of Washington. This is where we find the two severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right now. The first one till 530. It's moving across uh, from Virginia across the Potomac River into Frederick County, Maryland. This warning includes Frederick, Jefferson counties, and West Virginia, Frederick County, Virginia, Loudoun and in uh, Virginia and Washington County. Some of the communities will be affected. Frederick at 536, Bucky's Town at 530, uh, Burtonsville at 548, and Walkersville at 558. Uh, Bartonsville, it is rather. So uh, definitely on the whip, on the move. These things have a lot of electrical activity, a lot of lightning, heavy rain, and maybe even quarter size hail in these storms. And then we come southeast a bit and have a new one. This up until 545 this afternoon, and this includes Loudoun and Montgomery County. This one continues to really intensify. All this large area of red shows the most intense part of the storm, a ton of lightning, and also a lot of uh, torrential downpours. So the timeline there is Clarksburg at 521, then Gaithersburg, Redland at 543 and Laytonsville at 546. You had another storm now developing just north of, of Laurel, but that seems to be weakening just a bit. One of the ways we can check what's going to happen over the next couple of hours is look downstream at this source region, Harrisonburg and beyond. Most of that is going to stay north and west. These areas that are the Richmond Metro and anything that develops ahead of it could come across the Northern Neck and Southern Maryland. So it's going to be an active afternoon and evening here. Our future cast hints that by 730 we'll have the Southern Storm route taking over and then some of those lingering through 11 o'clock tonight. So one of those nights with a lot of late night lightning to watch clearing out in the morning, maybe a touch of fog to start the day, very humid and then very hot again tomorrow. The overnight low is 73 to 79 with the lingering storms ending late. Very muggy when you get up on Tuesday morning. A rapid rise in temperatures the entire region tomorrow from noon to 8 p.m. under a heat advisory farther northeast. That is an excessive heat 
warning. The day planner tomorrow is going to be hot 96, but it's going to feel more like 105 at times. And the next seven days, a little, I mean, we're stretching it here into Wednesday, calling it a little relief, 93. Chance of storms late afternoon or evening. More storms as we drop a couple more degrees for the day on Thursday. Friday back to 90. A dry day, we think. Same on Saturday and then into the 80s over the weekend. So it's a peak, but you can see the numbers are coming down. The heat wave will end. Yeah. Okay. Not soon enough, but it will end. <laughs> yeah. Well, let us know what's happening here tonight. Yep. How I will. things go. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Okay. Young graduates living in our area have a dubious distinction tonight. We're going to explain that, plus an update on the damage as wind fuels a wildfire, sending it toward more homes. But first, 17 medals on the line at the Olympics today. Grab your computer, tablet, or phone. Head to WJLA.com slash vote now. We are talking favorite golden moments when we come back. Long Fence is celebrating the summer games with a limited time offer of 25% off all decks. Relax and enjoy the outdoors on a quality...